Today, I'm going to show you some basics in sheet metal design. Let's say we have this concept layout and this halfway down Katia sheet metal part available. We'll be able to put them side by side while modeling. After setting this design to sheet metal, we can pull up all the walls at the same time, up to the height of this already existing wall. Then, we can view the unfolded part in another window. So now the red part indicates that the material there is overlapping after unfold, which will be impossible to manufacture. So we move all top faces of this part, use ruler dimension to accurately control the height of walls. And now it's no longer overlapping. Next, we're going to pull up another piece on a portion of this edge. Note that the bent reliefs are also created. In properties, we can easily modify this bent relief by type, depth, and width. And again, everything is updated in unfolded view in real time. Besides, we can easily move this wall along the edge together with the bend reliefs. We put it right here in the middle. And we can also rotate this wall in Move Tool. After that, we will create this hem by simply pulling this edge inside. Then, from this edge, we'll create some other types of junction, such as no overlap junction. Even after creation, it is still possible to switch it to partial or full overlap junctions. And at the end, we can change the color of each solid, just to make it more prettier. And uh, there is our concept design. 